In the fifth section of the course, we'll focus on the JSON Web Tokens. In this section, we are going to take a look at what is JSON Web Token and uh, JWT in short, how to implement JWT using HMAC, and how to authenticate the users using JSON Web Tokens and our API. In this video, we'll talk about JSON Web Tokens itself. We are going to take a look at how JWT works and how we can use it within our .NET Core applications. Let's navigate to the website at the jwt.io URL. Here you can find the most important information about JSON Web Tokens. As you can see, this is basically an industry standard for um, authenticating and representing the claims between two parties. Since the uh, web APIs are stateless due to HTTP protocol, it means that we cannot really have a typical session, like for example in a game. So we need to provide a mechanism that allows us to verify that the user is authenticated. And one of such mechanisms could be cookies or just the tokens that can be passed using the HTTP header. In that case, it will be the authorization header. If we take a look at JWT, you will see that there are three parts. The first one is basically this header. It only says what's the type of this uh, encryption, what's the algorithm, and what's the type of the authentication itself. The second part is uh, more important, or I would say more interesting, because within the second part, uh, we can actually include all of the relevant information, such as this uh, payload data, where we can state, for example, what's the name of the user, his unique ID, um, what, at what time the token was issued, was the expiry date, and so on. And the final part, this one, is a unique key, because whenever we create a token by the server, in that scenario, we'll be using some secret key. And this will be the signature uh, that will be generated using the secret key, thanks to which we can verify that our token is actually valid. So these are the three crucial parts of JWT. And as you can see, if I try to modify this, I will get an error there that the signature is invalid because this signature is basically generated on top of these previous two parts and our secret key that should be stored securely on the server. Okay, let's open our project. And here within our common project, we'll start implementing the common authentication mechanism that can be used in our other projects, such as API and these two services. Let's create a new folder and call it off. And now let's install two packages for our common project. So let's navigate into our SRC common and let's type .NET at, and we'll need to provide two packages. The first one is called Microsoft.ISPNetScore.Authentication.JWTBearer. .NET at package, of course. And the second one, once this completes installing, okay, let's wait a second. The second one is called Microsoft and then identity model dot tokens. And now we can run our .NET restore. And here we can see that our brand new NuGet packages have been installed. So for the starters, let's define the new interface that we'll be implementing in the next video. Let's just call it iJWT handler. And this interface will contain a single method. And let's say this method will return a JSON web token, which will be the our like custom class. Let's have the create method here. And this method will, will only take the user ID as the parameter. Let's add the using there. And let's create the JSON Web Token class here. And within our JSON Web Token, we want to have two public properties. The first one will be token itself. And the second one will be expires, which will be the date of expiration of our token. Because our token may only have some, uh, some lifetime, for example, five minutes or one hour or a week. And this um, property will tell our end client, the consumer of our token, uh, for how long this token will be available until the session will be timed out and will have to be recreated in order to get a new token. So that's for the starters. And in the next video, we'll focus on implementing our iJWT handler. In this video, we talked what is JSON Web Token, 
how we can use the JWTIO website in order to verify our token and how we can get started with JSON Web Tokens in .NET Core.